when I aim yesterday morning, we got a call from the uh, resident say that she had um, vibrations and loud noise um, to hear in the house when we came to the property. Uh, we came, saw steam venting under pressure from the lip of the bank. ejected from the site, so this is happening now. What we have in the area, or one of them, is a fault line that runs along this bank behind us, and every now and then we get a flow of heat, it comes from the south, from the village direction, works its way along this fault line, and uh, comes to the surface. It's normally heat and steam, so this event is a bit unusual in that we have the ejector being thrown out uh, and it's a lot wetter than normal. At the moment we are just letting uh, it take its course. The resident has been moved out of the house for um, precaution and uh, we've fenced off up the top there just to stop people coming too close because the risk of ground collapse is um, quite high up there at the moment. So Rotorua is used to these, as Peter has said, um, and we live with this. Uh, I can remember the Quido Park eruption um, and the interest that that generated nationally and locally. Uh, this is interesting that it's this creeping, creeping um, nature of this um, and it also just as a reminder to us as locals and visitors that this is a very complex and a, a very dynamic um, aspect of living in Rotorua. My concern when I heard of it last night was to say don't go down to look at it because you think you're very safe here, but trust GNS and Peter and our expertise about the cleaning of the, of the area and don't go over them to have a look. Because it, while it might be a curiosity, it's also um, extremely dangerous for us to cross boundaries and have a look. So that's the public safety.